Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 57 in chapter 2. In this one, it's still up through problems. They tell us a baseball is seen to pass upward, so at zero. This is a window. We, we find its position is 23 meters and with a vertical speed of 14 meters per second. So V1 is 14 meters per second up. So there we choose the up as positive direction. Because in this way, this up through problems, acceleration is always pointing down, right? Negative G. So we must keep, keep negative size there. Negative 9.8 meters per second square. And uh, if the ball was through from the straight, so from the straight there, ask you what was the initial speed. So there, we can look at this part from the initial to the V1. We know the position, Y1, Y0, and we also know the acceleration. So it's easy for us to find the V0. Just use this equation, the equation about velocity and displacement. In this one, we input the long quantities, y naught is zero. And then we can solve the equation, find the initial velocity, v naught is squared v1 squared plus 2gy. Input the long quantities there, and then we can get it's 26 meter per second. Now, let's look at the second problem. What altitude does it reach? For this there, we get this is 26 meter per second. And then we want to find the y2, right? Because this uh, baseball moves to the window and then reaches to the peak. And then it will fall down to the reference point. It looks like that. Now we want to know y2. So for y2, we know at the peak, velocity must be zero. So in this one, we can know we know the, we know the initial velocity. And we know the peak velocity. And uh, we know the velocity at the window. We know the peak velocity. We know the position y1, we know y2. And we also know acceleration, so it's easy. We still use this function about velocity with the displacement and input the long quantities, right? And then we can solve it. The y2 is y1 plus v1 squared divided by 2g. And then we input the long quantities, 33 meters. The Third one, when, when was it thrown? So ask you the time t naught. There we consider the t1 is a zero second. So now we can find the t naught, right, t zero. So we can say we know v1, we know the v0. We know acceleration. So then it's easy for us to find the time t1, t0. We use the acceleration equals the change of displacement divided by time taking. And in this one, we input the lower quantities. So then we find the t naught is this one. And then we find the t naught is a negative 1.2 seconds. What does that mean? Because we choose t1 as 0. So, so t0 is negative 1.2 seconds. That means t0 is 1.2 seconds before t1. Right? And then the first problem, when does it reach the straight again? So it uh, moves from the the straight and then window and then peak and finally to fall down to the reference point ask you the time t3 text so ask you the time t3 text we can see we can consider the initial position zero final position zero y y zero is zero y three is zero and also we know the initial velocity v zero and we know acceleration is negative g so i suggest to use this equation and then input the long quantities, y3 is 0, y0 is 0. And then we can just acceleration is negative g. We can solve the time t3 is 2v0 divided by g, and then we get it 5.3 seconds. That's all. Thank you.